All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's here, sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this video addressing these um, agnostic people, okay? Which an agnostic is a person who holds the view that any ultimate reality such as God is unknown and probably unknowable. Broadly, one who is not committed to believing in either the existence or the non-existence of God or a God. A person who is unwilling to commit to an opinion about something. Okay? Which, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I'm going to prove it. Okay? Now, this is John 3 and 36. He that believes on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believes not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abides on him. Okay? So, an agnostic person... You know, first off, they would try to discredit the whole entire Bible, okay? As if the Bible doesn't have prophecies in it, okay, that have come to pass. As if the Bible, the history that is in the Bible is not true, okay? Um, now, if you're an agnostic, okay, then honestly, you are following man-made philosophies, okay? First off, you're carnal, okay? You're not spiritual, okay? You're following man-made philosophies, okay? Now, I'm going to get this, Habakkuk uh, 1 and 4. Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment does never go forth. For the wicked does compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judge, judgment proceeds. Okay? And um, in the scriptures, in the book of uh, Job 9 and uh, 24, I'll get that. It goes into how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He, covered the, he covereth the face of... Faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Okay? And this is a, a prophecy, okay? And it's going on right now, okay? The hand of the wicked are the Edomites, okay? And um, an agnostic person, you know, they don't get into these scriptures, you know, like us here at Great Millstone do, okay? And the um, Edomites, okay, they have... Um, Covered the face of the people that are really bringing out the truth, okay? So, you're not going to really get this truth, okay, in your, your um, church buildings or any media outlet or, you know, wherever, okay? You're only going to get this truth, okay, from the men of Great Millstone, okay? So, the wrong judgment is proceeding out here that God doesn't exist or that... um. You know, the laws are done away with that in the Bible, okay? And when somebody does something um, wrong, that, that, you know, which is, you know, a sin, people don't, um, nobody, you know, the, the so-called white man or, you know, these nations, they don't do the judgments that are inside the scriptures, okay? So the wrong judgment is making people think that, you know, God doesn't exist, okay, or, or, or if he does, we don't know anything about whether he exists or not, because this, this, this land, this God-forsaken land, okay, it says, behold, ye among the heathen, okay, and um, the Edomites are heathens, okay, you have some of our own people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who will follow this way of belief, you know, because you've been deceived by the so-called white man. Okay? 
Now you don't even know who the who, who you are, which what, what what you are. Everything that you follow is because of what the so-called white man then then called you. Okay? But you have a you have a nerve to, to, to say that, you know, God, you know, his existence or non existence isn't real. Okay? And that's disrespectful. Okay? Um it says, Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which you will not believe though it be told you. And that's what that's what's happening right now. The 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 truth is being told to you and you don't want to receive it. Okay? For for lo, I raise up the Chaldeans that bitter and hasty nation which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. Okay? They, the, the, the modern day Chaldeans are the Edomites. Okay? The so-called white people. Okay? They came over here, stole this land from the um, Native Americans, put the um, Negroes into uh, slavery. Okay? Said that the Bible was their book. Okay? Um, took the land of um, Israel that's not theirs okay and um, I got this scripture Numbers 14 and 11 and the Lord said unto Moses how long would this people provoke me because like I said that's disrespectful to say that the Lord you know he, he, he doesn't exist you don't know whether he does or doesn't and if you do it you, it's unknowable okay and how long will it be ere they believe me for all the signs which I have sold among them? And it's to the point where you people will, um, you know, y'all will want the Lord to show y'all a sign, okay? Then the Lord, then you know, he sold you a sign which is all in front of you, okay? It's literally all in front of you. If, even if the Lord sold the sign, you still wouldn't believe it. You know, I'm talking about like an actual physical sign. You're not going to believe it, but but the, the actual physical signs are right there in front of your face. It's just that the so-called white man is has put it out there to, to make mess up these lies, man. I mean, put out lies out there to, to try to mess up the truth. Okay, and it says, um, I'm going to keep on Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your help by Shemir al -Sah. A lot of you agnostic people, you conform to this world. Okay? Second um, Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, Yahweh by Shemir al -Sah, and is profitable for doctrine, Okay, to, to bring out the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Reincarnation is in the Bible. Okay, nobody goes to hell when they die. Okay, you you agnostic people can't can't explain these things. Okay, y'all believe in science and um, evolution and some other stuff, man. That, you know, it's all just boils down to lies that the so-called white man that taught. Okay, the scriptures go into literally everything. Okay that is worthy of going into okay it says for reproof for correction and instructions and in, in righteousness how a man is supposed to act on this planet okay not being carnal being spiritual that the man of god may be perfect okay thoroughly furnished onto all good works let's see what this word perfect means okay Strong's G, 739, Artias, Artias. And that means fitted, complete, perfect, having reference apparently to a special aptitude for giving uses. Okay? So, so the man of the Lord, okay, is going to be complete in what they need, okay, in order to, to, to um, actually serve the Lord.
okay, and the knowledge, okay, and um, that's what the scripture's going to, man, okay, uh, how do we get that? As uh, 1 John 2 and 20, but you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. So a man of the Lord, okay, is going to know everything, man, because they're going to have that knowledge from the, the, the Holy One himself, okay? And this is uh, Acts 17 and 23. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God because you had agnostics back then, okay? They thought that they didn't know God, okay? But they still was devoting their self. You know, they was living life like, you know, uh, like it was God, but they didn't know, okay, what what um, that God name was, okay? And this scripture can go many different ways, okay? It says, whom therefore you ignorantly worship, which that mean not knowingly, okay? Him declare I unto you, and that's what we do, okay, at Great Millstone. We declare unto you, Yahweh, okay? The creator of everything, okay? And uh Yahweh Shah, okay? And we break everything down, man, okay? It says, uh God that made the the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temple made with temples made with hands. You're not gonna get this truth, okay, inside these church buildings. Okay, it says neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to life, to all life and breath and all things. Okay, and that's the truth, man. Okay, um, so with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, um, to you agnostics, you know. Y'all need to get this truth, man, and, and, and uh, watch the real men of the Lord break down these scriptures, man, okay? And, and, and declare unto you who the real God is, okay? Which his name is Yahweh, okay, and his son name is Yahweh Shah, okay? Not that, that fluff that these Christians or these other bullshit religions are doing, man, because this isn't the, no, no religion. This is the truth, man, okay? So with that, man, I want to say uh, Salawam, man. That's the truth to life, man.